But we begin with messages of hate sprayed across the city on the last day of 2018. The holiday spirit is apparently gone for whoever is behind these racial slurs. News 5's John Rudder talked to some of those targeted by these vandals. And John, the big question, do police know who's responsible for all of this? They don't, but the reports just keep coming in and they're not just isolated to one area. Now police are asking for help to find out who spray painted that racist graffiti on cars on both the east and the west side. It started out like any other morning for Tim Lance. Uh, my neighbor came across and knocked on the door, let her let me know that her car and my son's car got spray painted. I want to say about 10 o'clock this morning. Unfortunately, he wasn't alone. My car's been broken into like four times since I've lived here, so I mean, I'm not surprised. The reports kept coming in one after another. Racist graffiti spray painted on cars throughout Cleveland. I was kind of pissed. I mean, my son works hard for his car. I mean, he's a college student, works part time and goes to college full time. So I was pissed. Luckily, it was an easy fix, but for others, not so much. My street's pretty quiet. I mean, it's it's we got great neighbors. It's terrible that we got to, you know, Look out after our cars. Cleveland police say they've received at least six reports in this one west side location, another on the city's east side. It's disappointing, but I'm used to it. While police look for the artists behind these vulgar and offensive messages, Lance has a message of his own for the vandals. I'd say get a job, man. Get a job. Go to school. Come on. You know better than that. Your parents raised you better than that. Now, as the reports continue to come in, Cleveland police say that those numbers of reports may continue to go up. The residents we talked with say that as many as 20 cars were hit in their neighborhood. If you have any information, you're asked to give police a call. Live in Cleveland, John Rutter, News 5.